Now there are a couple of things that can go wrong when we set up a system of equations. Take a look at this system of equations. Suppose we have the system 2x minus 3y equals 6 and y equals 2 thirds x plus 1. First equation is in standard form, so to graph it we'll find the intercepts. We'll let x is 0, and so negative 3y is 6. Divide both sides by negative 3, and we get y is negative 2. So y-intercept is going to be 0, negative 2. Now we'll let y be 0. 2x minus 3 times 0 is 6. So 2x is 6. Divide both sides by 2 and we get x is 3. So our x-intercept is going to be 3, 0. The second equation is in slope-intercept form. Our y-intercept is going to be at 0, 1. And then the slope is 2 thirds which means when x goes up by 3, y goes up by 2. The point 3, 3 will be on this graph, and the point negative 3, negative 1 will be on this graph. Okay, let's see. It looks like just extending my axes to 4 in every direction will work just fine for me here. First line, we've got x-intercept at 3, y-intercept at negative 2, and fill in the line. Second equation, we've got y-intercept 1, and then we'll go right 3, up 2. Uh-oh, something's wrong. These lines don't cross each other. Is that just a coincidence? Well, here, look. The slope of the first line is also 2 thirds. It's not just that we don't see them cross. They actually have the same slope. These lines are parallel. They will never, ever cross. What does that mean for our system of equations? If the lines never cross, that means that there is no solution to the system. In the graph, we see parallel lines. If we were to examine the equations more closely, we would see the same slope, but different y-intercepts if we were to, say, write them in slope-intercept form so that we could see this easily. We call such a system inconsistent. Okay, that's one of the things that could go wrong. Let me show you another thing that could go wrong. Suppose we have this system. x plus 2y is 4, and y is negative 1 half x plus 2. For the first equation, we'll get the intercepts. When x is 0, we have 0 plus 2y is 4, so 2y is 4. Divide both sides by 2, and we get y is 2. We'll have y-intercept 0, 2. To get the x-intercept, then, we'll say y is 0. x plus 2 times 0 is 4, so x is 4. Our x-intercept will be 4, 0. For our second equation, our y-intercept is 0, 2. And then slope negative 1 half says x goes up by 2, y goes down by 1. Um, going back 1. We'll have x is negative 2, 
y is 3. Okay, let's see what happens. Again, it looks like just going to 4 in either direction is going to work just fine for us for our axes. And now we draw our first line x intercept 4, y intercept 2, fill in the line. And then we draw our second line y intercept 2, slope negative a half means over 2 down 1. Wait a minute. These are the same line. So that means every point on the first line is also going to be on the second line. Every point on the second line is also going to be on the first line. In this situation we see that this system has infinitely many solutions. Right? This system is really only one equation. Another way to think about it is these two equations are equivalent. If I were to take this equation and solve it for y, I would get this equation. So what are we seeing? In the picture, we see that both graphs are the same line. If we were to rewrite these equations in slope-intercept form, we would see that they have the same slope and the same y-intercept. Right, when they were parallel, they had the same slope but different y-intercepts. Here they have the same slope and the same y-intercept. We call a system like this consistent dependent. Consistent because both equations can be true at the same time, but dependent because whether or not the second equation is true depends on whether the first equation is true. Compare this to the normal situation, which is two lines that cross at one point. So, a graph that looks something like this. Remember, they can only cross at one point. They can't cross at two, because if they have two points in common, they're the same line. When we have two lines that cross at one point, our lines have different slopes. We're in the normal situation exactly when the lines have different slopes. We call a system like this, consistent independent. So consistent, they can both be true at the same time. But independent, knowing about one doesn't necessarily tell me about the other one. And this consistent independent situation is the normal situation. If I just make up two lines at random, chances are really good that they're going to have different slopes, right? because most of the time if I pick two numbers at random, they're going to be different from each other. This consistent independent situation is the normal situation. It's what we typically expect to see. But very occasionally, we have the other two situations, inconsistent or consistent dependent, turn up. And we need to recognize them when we see them.